Hello, we are the Scottish Falsetto Sock. Puppet Theatre and so am I and so is he. And you find us here on the banks of the Thames celebrating the Diamond Jubilee. So what is a Jubilee? A Jubilee is, ah, Google it. I can't be bothered to explain. I'm enjoying the bonting. I didn't know there was bonting. Well, there is. Can I have a bont? You can possibly have a bont later when you're finished Googling. I shall just go and Google. So, well, I've just finished Googling. That was quick. Thank you very much. So a Jubilee is, yeah, Jubilee is, Jubilee is a very popular sweet drink that was at its peak of its success in the 1960s. An orange flavoured drink, it came in a pyramid shaped container and was served frozen. Its advertising slogan, later reappropriated by Del Boy in Only Fools and Horses, was lovely. Jubilee. Did you seriously think that was what the meaning of the word Jubilee was? That's what it says on Google. So it must be. Ah, stop bothering me. I'm enjoying a cockney knees up and Emma Bunting and Emma Bunting. Isn't that weird? They call it Bunting and yet it looks like Jerry Halliwell. Would you stop that? Oh, look, here comes the Queen. The who? The Queen. Who's the Queen then? She, she's only the monarch. Monarch. Yes, she's the monarch. She's a proper monarch, a proper real live living monarch who does monarching for a living in her monarchabile. Does she take photos in monochrome? I should imagine she does. Is her best friend Monica out of friend? Yes, yes it is. And you are her servant. I am not. You are. I am not. You are. When she goes by, when she goes by, you should tug your forelock. Can you not get arrested for that? You should. You should show her deference. Deference. Yes, you, you, you should show her your deference. I'd have to bend over a hell of a long way. How could I be sure she wouldn't kick my bunting? You. Oh. You should have seen the coronation. It was an amazing event. End. End. And was there an echo? I'm having a flashback. Or that happened to me once when I was lighting a... Please! Please, I'm trying to have a reminisce. Well, don't forget to tug your forelock afterwards. Then maybe you could wipe it on some ember bunting. I'm, I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. Please excuse my idiot friend here, Mrs. Queen and Monarch of the Glen. And now let's go back to 1953. E. 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 1953. E. E. Well, that's only 59 years ago. Yeah, well, that's what we're celebrating. 59... It's the big 5-9. 59 is the big celebration. Now cast your mind back. Ack, ack, ack. Hello, Billy Joel's here as well. Will you stop that? I'm trying to indulge my nostalgia. Can you not do that filth in private? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Cover the corgi's ears. Is that a euphemism? None of this is a euphemism. Will you stop that? Can you not show some worshipful respect for the Queen, your monarch? Well, how did she get to be Queen? Um, well, her dad died. Is that it? She didn't have to pass an exam, win an election, go on The Apprentice, no. She just had to wait for her dad to die and she became queen. Well, my dad died. Does that not make me queen? Well, I hadn't thought of it like that before. Um, I guess it must do. Let me have a look at the facts here on Wikipedia, just out of shot. No, it, it, it says there's nothing that she did in the run-up to being queen that you haven't done. Oh no, wait a minute, I did once get married to this Greek person who was really rude to people in public and said offensive things at random moments. No, no, she's done that, that's okay. Oh, and quite a few of my family are drunks, alcoholics actually, and there's quite a few scandals that we've hushed up over the years. Member of the family we used to pretend didn't exist because they were mental. Oh, and there's some Nazis, loads of Nazis in our family. And, and actually, the illegitimate kids, oh, don't get me started on all of the illegitimate legitimate kids we've had all of the way. No, no, looking at it. Her family had all of that as well. And they still let her be queen. As far as I can see, those are major prerequisites of the job. Well, in that case, I've ticked all of the boxes. I must be queen. I think you must. Well done, Your Majesty. I'd tug my forelock if I could work out how. So, dearly beloved, my people, common people of the Commonwealth and my fellow inbred drunks, thank you for organising this fly past of floaters. Enjoy your jubblies with Emma Bunton this weekend and long may it rain. Hallelujah. God bless the me. God bless us, everyone.